Steelers today. He's Dale Lawley. I'm Dan Kovacevic of DK Pittsburgh Sports. We're at Heinz Field after day 20. I actually checked the number this time of okay. training camp. The last day that fans will be here, and they got to see some interesting stuff here. If you're paying really close attention. If. That was an if. It was a big if because it was raining the entire time. They're probably more worried about staying dry or not getting washed into the mud. They were. A lot of them stayed back on the concourses yeah. and watched through the little tunnels. But, uh, yeah, an interesting day. Uh, this was the we, – we saw Antoine Brooks come back today. Actually, we saw everybody come back today uh, except for Stephon Tuitt, TJ Watt, and Chase Claypool. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody, I would assume, will be available for Saturday's game against the Detroit Lions. Uh, the question is, is what order are those guys going to be going onto the football field, particularly at the nickel corner spot? Yeah, nickel corner is what ended up getting the most uh, eyebrows raised, if you will, uh, in seeing not just that Antoine Brooks came back, but that on the day that Antoine Brooks came back, Cam Sutton... Shots fired! <laughs> ...slides to the inside. Uh, I am all in favor of this. Insert any and all memes and gifs of people cheering and thumbs up and all that other stuff. Uh, I, I love having Sutton on the inside. How do you feel about where this is going to sh shake out? You know, I, I think this is what, you know, when we talked to Terrell Austin, I don't know, three weeks ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Uh, he was talking about, hey, we know we have that in our, in our hip pocket, that we can slide Cam in there and he knows how to do it. It'll take him a week to get back up to speed to, to playing the nickel, nickel spot. I don't know that I am in favor of, of hmm. it, and here's why. I, I've always, uh, Cam Sutton is the better cover corner on the inside. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But he was also the better cover corner on the inside than Mike Hilton was yes. by far. Yes. What this defense valued – Mike Hilton. Was Hilton's yep. ability to help out in the run game and his ability to blitz. So I don't know I don't know that they want a better cover guy in there if it hurts their run defense or it hurts their ability to blitz as much. They're not gonna cam they're not gonna blitz Cam Sutton as as much from the slot as they did Mike Hilton. Right. I ran the numbers earlier in the year. They, I think they Hilton blitzed 70 times out of the it's slot crazy, last yeah. year. And even though Sutton played in there several games last year when he when wasn't was the out, guy, yeah. they blitzed him seven times. Yeah, I was going to say he never, he he, he almost never went yeah. through. So you lose uh, that, you lose that chip on the. On you your, lose the schematic edge. I mean that you have against a lot of opponents, but realistically, you don't have the player that made that schematic edge possible unless either Brooks or. Arthur Mallette steps up, and has either of them done that? Well, Brooks has been out the last week. Before that, he had clearly got a, a hold of the of the nickel corner spot. He was he had been better than than Millette. The question now for the Steelers is: Are they a better defense on, with with James Pierre on the field in the nickel, as opposed to having Antoine Brooks on the field as a nickel? I think this was really a, an opportunity for Mike Tomlin to kind of poke Antoine Brooks a little bit and say, "Hey, look." You oh. missed a week. We're gonna. This is still a possibility. You missed the past week. You, you can't, might not play. You can't put. You know, do this anymore. Huh. We would love to have you be that guy. Everybody's been talking glowingly about you, but you can't miss a week and then come back and be the guy. Yeah, and we've seen that pattern, by the way, with other young uh, players. Other young players, where if you're out for a while, the head coach does not appreciate it, even if your excuse is 100 percent valid. You uh, haven't earned anything, kid. You better. You got to come back and earn so, it. So. I, I, I've liked what I've seen of James Pierre on the outside. I guess my biggest trepidation with Cam Sutton uh, starting somewhere in the base and moving somewhere else in packages is the obvious. And Joe Hayden has talked about this himself, how when he was young and the Cleveland Browns had him bouncing inside and outside and all Following over the place, everybody, yeah. that it was hard. Yeah. It's tough. Well, what, it, what it does is – it puts more on Cam Sutton's plate because he's going to be in the starting lineup in the base defense. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if he's going to spend time during the week studying the opposing team's top wide receivers. The Steelers aren't a team that follows. They play their sides. So he's going to look at, you know, all those guys that play on the outside. Then if you say, okay, Cam, you're also going to be the nickel corner here, he's going to have to take a look at wide receivers that play in the slot, at tight ends that play in the slot, what the team's tendencies are when he moves to the slot. So it adds a lot more to his plate if he has to do that. If it's that simple move of Brooks is the slot, 
Then you leave Cam on the outside. The only time Cam Sutton kicks inside is when you're in a dime defense. Well, now you're only going to play that dime defense, maybe against Buffalo, which uses a lot of four wide receiver sets. And in specific instances where it's third and 13 or something like that, okay, he can do that. He doesn't have to study quite as hard to do that. But if you make him move back and forth all the time, it, it creates a, a different dynamic yeah. for him. When we come back, or actually before we come back, I'm going to leave you with what Mike Tomlin had to say about this subject. And when we come back, we're going to talk about James Washington. Here's the head coach. Mark Millette got a pick today. How far ahead has he gotten in that slot competition? You know, I don't, I'm not ready to discuss that. Um, we got guys working. We got a lot of guys working there. We got options there that that haven't been working there, to be quite honest with you. I think today was the first day we put Cam Sutton inside, for example. And so um, what you're looking at might not be the only candidates. Welcome back. Chase Claypool did not practice uh, today, and I don't think anybody would reasonably have expected him to. That but he made made was on sense. the field. Was on the Walking field. Walking around, no limp. No, Even catching some passes. No uh, machinery or mechanisms or crutches or anything like that. So the the initial indications that it's not serious appear to be borne out. And that's good news. Uh, also, maybe in a hidden kind of way, a positive to see more of James Washington on the field. James Washington made some plays. Now, he doesn't need, as Tomlin pointed out, quite caustically, he doesn't need Claypool to be off the field to make plays. But it helps if you're on the field to make those plays. Yeah. And he did. Yeah. I mean, he was on the field last year. He played 44% of the snaps. Yes. Um, yeah, this idea that Washington never gets out there is is false. They right. use a lot of four They receiver, rotate the receivers a lot. And they rotate. But obviously that was down from his first two years. Uh, he was not on the field as much because he had three guys who were technically ahead of him on the on the, the, the depth chart. So, you know, it, it affords him more opportunities to be on the field, make plays. We saw the, the grab in the end zone today. Uh, you know, he made over top of, uh, was it Mark Gilbert? Number 17. In yeah, Yellow. Mark Gilbert. Yeah. yeah. Which was, a, I mean, a James Washington type play. I don't need to sell those to anybody. It was, it, it's it was, been what he's done since he's been here. Yeah, he, he, uh, he, well, he was behind Gilbert, but he high pointed and went over top of him. He didn't wait for the ball to get to him. He actually reached it, it out was, and got it. It was a kind of catch that you, well, basically you come to expect from Washington, in, including going back to his college years. Who was that pass from, Dale? It was from Ben Roethlisberger. No, it was Mason Rudolph. I thought it was Ben. It was Mason Rudolph. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was sure it was Ben. Did you notice that today? I even put in the, oh, obviously I didn't. I even put in the live report. I today put in, their, in their first, in their seven shots, which they were doing at midfield now, because I guess they didn't want to work the, uh, the down in the end zone, but they're working seven shots now uh -huh. to open practice. Mason Rudolph took the first three snaps in seven shots. Then Dwayne Haskins took the next two, and Ben Roethlisberger took the last two. That's what. Yeah, uh, they were doing some yeah. stuff, and, and Tomlin ended Mike up Thomas joking with us afterward. With he us. was just yeah. messing with the reporters by throwing everything out of uh, everything out of whack. Uh, James Washington is is a guy that I've liked. James Washington has been attached to reports that he'd want to be traded. That was hotly denied. Uh, well, it was denied that James Washington asked for a trade. It was not denied that the, James Washington the, agent, agent denied. Didn't, yeah, didn't say, hey, that, that's my guy. always part of this this yeah. this sort of circumstance as well. Here, uh, do you feel that James will be in a Pittsburgh uniform in Buffalo? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, we can't even turn this one into a good you're not, debate. You're not. I mean, unless somebody bowls you over, you're not says, getting hey, value. We'll give you a we'll give you a second round pick or a third round pick for James Washington. You're not, there's no reason to trade him. No. You've got him on, under contract. He's not costing you a ton of money. He's not a malingerer. And he's not going to... He's he, not going to be a guy that... He that, doesn't have a threat to utilize against you other than, I'm not going to play. Well, if you don't play, I mean, you're not going to get paid. You're not going to get better. And you're not going to increase your value moving forward. Yeah, he's going to be a guy that he makes the most nothing. of those opportunities when he's on the field. Yeah, he has, he has nothing. And you know what? James Washington, by the way, uh, good dude. You know, it's kind of early in the season, but, you know, me being who I am and, you know, just want to compete and help a team win, um, you know, it just gives me that drive to just want to get out there and, you know, put my hand in the pile and just help a team in victory. He's the anti-receiver in he's terms of so, he's not going to be a me-first guy. He's, he's so not going to be. Diva. Yeah. Say it. 
He is. <laughs> I mean, that's, it goes against everything that you've seen from most receivers. He's a humble that, guy, yeah. a farmer, literally a farmer in, yeah. the, in the offseason, works on his family farm uh, right out there in the fields. Yeah. Um, so th this is just this is somebody I, I think that you want on your football team. It's incumbent on Matt Canada to figure out ways to get him involved and keep him involved. But again, he's got to earn it. Um, he had stretches last season where he looked like, whoa, he really should be out there more often. But it didn't seem to get as much attention, Dale, when he would have drops versus when other guys. And he had as not as many as anybody else because Deontay led the drops. league. Yeah. But he did have drops, and he needs to be better. Yeah, well, there's no doubt about that. If he wants to get paid, whether it be here or somewhere else next season, he has to put together a strong you know, 2021 campaign. It can't be... Uh, you know, I get 50, 60 passes thrown my way and I catch half of them or, or 30 or 35. No, no, no. Them. No, you've got to be an integral part. You know, when you're on the field, make the most of those uh, opportunities. When the ball comes your way, catch it. Uh, make a big play out of it. We've seen him do it in the past. I mean, he's, he's made his share of big plays for this team in his first three seasons. Carry that over to this year. Then you can worry about, yeah. you know, getting paid and doing those kind of things. One last day of training camp uh, here at Heinz Field tomorrow. No fans, but they'll still be here at Heinz Field, and, and we will too. 